Hello, Tarek Maryface here and welcome to Mayday Talk. The footage you just watched was of a Cessna 310 ditching about 13 miles off the coast of Hawaii. The footage was taken by a Coast Guard helicopter that actually was waiting for the aircraft to ditch after it had already declared an emergency. The pilot was ferrying the aircraft from California, so he obviously had to install extra tanks of fuel to, carry, to be able to make it. The pilot realized he was in trouble about three to four hours before the crash and immediately declared an emergency. He then climbed to the optimal altitude for range and weeded out as much distance as he possibly could. The NTSB says that the fuel exhaustion was caused by poor planning, weather planning, by the pilot. Now if you dig up the archives and look at the TAFs and the long TAFs and the METARs of that time, you'd think the NTSB was kind of being harsh. You, because, you know, all this data actually shows that the winds were favorable. I went ahead and looked at the significant weather charts, however, and found that there happened to be a high pressure system over Hawaii and a low pressure system somewhere in the first half of the planned route. This would suggest that the pilot actually encountered uh, headwinds due to the differential pressure along most of the way. It kind of makes me think the pilot didn't check those charts. This just shows how critical it is to perform a full weather brief for each flight. Uh, that would be one of the causes if this is what actually happened in this case. The pilot himself had around 10,000 hours of flight experience, so it was well experienced many of which was on this very aircraft and many of which was on this very route. Well, he did a few good things and most what I think they were was he declared an emergency pretty much as soon as he realized it was in trouble. He also was able to keep a level head to be able to climb to the optimum range altitude. This allowed him to get a lot closer to the coast and actually made his rescue a lot easier because if he ditched a couple hundred nautical miles away from the islands, the Coast Guards might not have been able to fly there and his rescue would have taken longer. Finally, I think his ditching technique was pretty bang on. I mean, that was just beautiful. I believe, however, that the pilot made two critical mistakes. The first was not to do a full weather briefing if that's what actually happened. He might have skipped over the significant weather charts, something you should never do, really. And that's a lesson to all of us pilots right there. I also think he was a bit too complacent by not flying the optimum uh, range altitude from the very beginning because it's a long ferry flight, one that this aircraft is not designed for. I mean, you had to install extra tanks. That would be enough motivation for me to fly directly, you know, at the, most, at the best range sort of flying configurations. Well, this is my opinion. If you happen to know that any of what I just said is erroneous in any way, please feel free to tell me by any means possible. I encourage you to do so, because just like you, I want to learn. Okay, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, my website, maryfaceaviation.com, and my main channel, Tarek Maryface. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Happy flying.